All right, Andrew Wiggins finding a groove in the last five games. So is this something or nothing or everything? Wiggins had 30 points last night in a win over the Pistons. It's his fifth consecutive game, Paul, scoring at least 25. He's also the 11th youngest player ever with 8,000 points. What do you got on Wiggins? Something, nothing, everything. or everything? This is everything. This is what they've been asking him to be. This is why they kept him and traded Levine. They said, Wiggins, we're going to pay you. We need you to step up and be the star we paid you to be. And that's what he's doing right now. Now, playing to his potential. He had he has an upside to where he has, he's athletic, he can shoot I the count. three, he, he can put the ball on the floor, and he's just being more aggressive each and every night, and this is all they ask for, for him. Are you a top 100 player, Wiggins? Yes, you are, buddy. That's not any question anymore. Huh, all right, well, I would like if our director can show Amin's face right now while Paul was He's talking. not convinced, I can see it Look on his face. face. Look, this game, I love this game. I rarely go to nothing, but this is nothing. The, he is, <laughs> this is who he's been. He does it for a little bit and we get excited. Like, ooh, it's finally coming together for no, Andrew Wiggins. And it then, looks like it's more consistent now. He's playing consistent that's the basketball. That's I wanted. The we tiger, just up close of his face because the really. The tiger doesn't change his stripes. He just changes jungles. People like that's not, he's not a second <laughs> or third year player. He's been in the league for a while. He does this every year. I Changing see jungles can reshape you Here, too. Here, give the face. He's reshaped and I see it. I'll talk. <laughs> I have spoken. <laughs> That's the entire time Paul was talking. Paul's talking. They're showing great clips of Andrew Wiggins, oh, and that face man. was happening the entire <laughs> time. Let's get to the Nets. They're four and five, but their defense has been really the mitigating factor here. They're giving up nearly 122 points a game. Only the Pelicans, who have no Zion Williamson, have allowed more points this season. The Nets were 18th in points allowed last season. So, I mean, it's not as if they were lighting, you know, they weren't a top 10 defense last season. Right. But they have dropped. What do you think? Is that something, nothing, or everything? It, it is absolutely something. They're bottom five in the league in defensive rating right now. That's not good. Their identity over the last few years, and I'm just saying last year because they made the playoffs, but even before that was always tough, scrappy. We don't want to play the Nets because yeah. we don't play hard all night long. Yeah. That identity kind of running away on them right now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, three point, opponent three-point percentage is not really a good metric. But the number of threes you give up is a much better accurate depiction. Like good defenses, we say stop you from taking a three, not make you shoot a poor percentage. But what's happening now is you're seeing as the personnel changes, it's harder to remain consistent to the mm -hmm. ideals because now you have to fit who you have in the building. When you have in the building is Kyrie Irving was a guy who's not known for his defense and is known for being very ball dominant, and that's what we're seeing. This is nothing. Nothing. This is what I expected the Brooklyn Nets to be without Kevin Durant. Mm. These, you know, you got rid of a prime time mm -hmm. player who's over in Golden State now, and you add Kyrie. This team had great chemistry. When I looked at this team, this was one of the most fun teams to watch yeah. a year ago. When you looked over at their bench, you, they, they were dancing, they were smiling, fun. they were excited. Yep. You know, they was reacting to everything. Look at this, they yeah. were fun. I don't see that right now. And that has to do to the chemistry. When you take away Russell, D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, but D'Angelo was were, not a defensive It doesn't matter. Well. These guys had a camaraderie. They had yeah. a chemistry together. Yes, that's true. And when you bring in another piece and you don't know if you guys are friends, things can get socially awkward, you guys don't hang out anymore, it could be not as fun. It, this team is not having fun right now. You can see it. A lot of what we see is in team def defense is sacrifice, right? right? The idea that I'm playing for him. Yes. I'm doing things. I'm going to not let him... I'm not going to sell him out. Right. He's going, I'm helping the helper and stuff like that. When you don't have that tight of a bond, it's sometimes it's subconscious. You just don't try as hard for, for another guy. Yes. Basically, you're more concerned about, hey, I'm going to my man. I, I got my, my stuff done. Right. All right. Well, the Nets also, strange news this morning. They parted ways with CEO David Levy after just less than two months with the team. I worked with David at Turner, at Turner had a yeah. fantastic experience working with him. So I'm very curious what is going to happen with that story as well. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.